hey guys welcome back to the channel as you can see from the title down below we're going to be talking about tips on how to start living and eating healthier now i know that this is a little bit of a tough one and it is yet another healthy living series i'm sorry about that let me just okay it is uh, another healthy living series video but if you do follow my blog, which you should if you haven't, because most of these things pretty much start over there and then uh, I put them on the channel. So if you do follow my blog, you know that I have put up a blog post on tips on how to start eating healthier. I will link that down below. But essentially, I also wanted to put it on video form so that you guys could see exactly what I am talking about through video rather than reading it. I know some people just don't like reading. so. It is what it is. But anyway, if you would like to hear my tips on how to start living healthier and what you should change and what you should incorporate, then definitely do keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about this healthy living and healthy eating lifestyle. Now, for some of us, we like to rather eat healthier than go to the gym and things like that. But for other people, they like to incorporate both, which is great. And yeah, but the most important thing, 80% is what you put into your body and 20% is what you do at the gym. Pretty much, pretty much, if that's the standard. I think it is. But um, this video is just to help you get started in terms of uh, healthy eating, what you should incorporate, what you should um, change, what you should add into your pantry, in the kitchen, those kinds of things. I'm going to be telling you all about all of it. All of it, honey. Okay. So the first thing, first big tip is incorporating water into your diet. Now, I know it is so, so hard to incorporate water into your diet, but I'm so glad I'm filming this video now because it is the summer months, uh, spring, summer, it's getting hot. And when it gets hot, I mean, ooh, ooh girl, girl. <laughs> And when it gets hot, I mean, we have to hydrate. So it is very, very important to incorporate water into your diet. I know that it's tough to drink water, but there are ways in which you can make water delicious or make it easier for you to drink water. Now, two options are you can make um, fruit infused water. So you can cut up some strawberries, some berries, some uh, anything, some lemons, some cucumbers and add it to your water and then drink that throughout the day. Just keep replenishing the water when it's finished and then keep drinking that throughout the day. Another way, which is also great as well, especially if you're somebody who is more on the, you want to eat and drink healthier, but you also want to lose a little bit of weight. Apple cider vinegar works really, really well. I have one that's in the kitchen. I'll see if I can do a cutaway. Um, it's the apple cider vinegar with the mother. It's really, really, really good. Not only is it good to just take in, it just makes water a little bit more different. There are people who can uh, drink water with apple cider vinegar much more than they would just drink normal water. So if that would work for you as well, that's also a great alternative. But for the most part, the most important thing is to incorporate water into your daily diet. Try and start off, start off small. If you want to start off with maybe a liter of water a day, great. Then see if you can move it up to two liters a day. I drink at least, at least four liters of water a day. I know it's hard, but I've incorporated it so much that it's just normal. It, it's just a part of my life. But definitely, definitely tip number one, incorporate lots of water into your diet. Okay. All right, and then the second point is a very, very contentious issue, but really an important one if you want to start eating and living healthier. This top is going to frustrate the living daylights out of me. Cut sugar. I know it is hard to cut out sugar. I know it's one of the hardest things. Sugar is very, very addictive. And when I mean cut sugar, I do not mean cut it off like cold turkey. No, I mean that see if you can start by cutting out refined sugars. So that's your white sugars, brown sugars, what have you, and replace it with substitutes that are really, really good for uh, sugar. So that's looking at things like agave, that's looking at things like honey, that's looking, if you want to have that uh, candorel as well, that's fine. But anything that you can substitute normal refined sugars for. And then only once you've done that, then you can try and minimize 
uh, foods or drinks that have contents of sugar. So now you're looking at things like cold drinks, you're looking at um, Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, whatever. You're looking at things like, um, what else? What is this? Liquid fruit, fruit juices. If you want to have a juice, rather have a cold pressed juice. So anything that's been pressed, like your green juices, Woolworths has a very, very nice selection of um, cold pressed juices, which are much, much, much healthier than having, because it's just literally the fruit or the, the vegetable itself that has been juiced in a juicer and that's it. So the sugar contents are not as great as in a processed liquid fruit kind of juice. Um, also, so you can start with the refined sugars and then move along onto cutting out sugars. If you do not want to cut out sugars, if you are somebody with a sweet tooth, that is fine. But just do things in moderation. If you are looking to eat healthier, just know that, okay, if I've had a muffin today, I've had pretty much my full on content of sugar for the day. And try not to have muffins each and every single day. Unfortunately, when you are living healthy or trying to live healthy and eat healthier, you are going to have to pay attention to what you eat. But after a while, it becomes so, so, so much easier. So it's just in the beginning where you just have to suss out everything. But then once you get into it, it becomes a whole lot easier. I promise you that much. I, I promise. All right, and then the next one, uh, it's, it's a tough one, but it's something that I've done and I see that it works for me quite a lot. Substitute your beige foods for whole wheat alternatives. So your beige foods is rice, your beige foods is white bread, your beige foods is anything that is in your fridge that you eat that is starchy or carbohydrate filled, that is beige, substituted for whole wheat. Now when I mean substituted for whole wheat, I don't necessarily mean eat it the way that you would eat the white beige foods. I mean that substituted for whole wheat, but don't eat the whole wheat as much either. So your white pasta is also uh, considered a beige food. So you substitute that for whole wheat pasta, low GI bread, and when you're having bread, if you're somebody who likes bread, I mean, I love bread, okay? I love bread. And you guys may have seen in my videos that, um, if I do food videos, I incorporate bread because I do love bread. It's there's 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 no judging that one, okay? White rice for brown rice, um, that kind of thing. If you can substitute your beige white foods to brown whole wheat food, it is a lot lot better. And then you just have to monitor how many times in a week you would eat something like that. So I'm not saying substitute white pasta for whole wheat pasta, but then that means have whole wheat pasta every day. I am not saying that. No, that's not what it means. It just means that substitute the white for the whole wheat, but then have the whole wheat pasta. If you're a pasta lover, try to have it maybe twice a week instead of having it five times a week that kind of thing. If eating healthier also means portion controlling your food. So you can't have a giant meal for breakfast, a giant meal for snack time, a giant meal for lunch. It doesn't quite work that way. But I'm just I'm just telling you what you can replace with what. Okay? Okay. The next point is change your oil. Change your oil. Change the oil that you use in the cup. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> change your oil. Oh my girl, girl. Change your oil to from um, you know your sunflower oil or what have you. Change it to canola oil. Change it to truffle oil. Change it to avocado oil. Change it to coconut oil. That is what I use on a daily basis. If I feel like I want to fry up some meat, coconut oil. If I feel like um, if I'm doing cauliflower rice or something like that, coconut oil. Anything, anything that is oil based and you know that your mama would always send you to the shops and go hey, tamo, 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 sunflower oil. change it to vegetable oil truffle oil avocado oil there's so many oils you can just buy small ones and see which one works the best for you but for the most part most people use coconut oil and it's really really good so change your oil and then the next point is green foods. Green foods are extremely important if you're trying to eat healthy. And this incorporates also if you're somebody who's trying to lose weight. Green foods are your best friend. Now, the ratio of the plate, the plate is like honestly the, the best ratio when it comes to healthy living and healthy eating. Um, 
half the plate must be green fruits only. A quarter of the plate to be your protein and the other quarter to be whatever. That's pretty much how it works. But half the plate must be green. So half the plate must be full of cucumber, lettuce, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower is not green, but it's considered healthier, right? So it must be full of cucumber, lettuce, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, anything, anything that is vegetable based and is green is the most important thing. If you cannot eat cauliflower or uh, broccoli like from the plate, if you steam it up, if you can't have it that way, put it in a smoothie. At least you know that you have incorporated mostly some greens into your system for the day. Try and have greens every single day. If you can't, let that be a cheat day. Maybe let that be on a Friday or a Saturday. But try for the most part to have greens in your plate, on your plate, like every single day. Start by doing it from Monday to Friday. Or if it's hard, do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But eventually you'll get into the rhythm of it and you'll get used to it. But greens, very, very important. They should be your best friend. They should be your best friend, that's it. And then the last point I want to mention is play with your food. Play with your food. Try out new things. Uh, uh, try out this and mix it with that. Try out this and mix it with that. That is the best way in order to eat healthy and try out new things, but try and keep the momentum when it comes to eating healthy. If you don't and you eat the same things all the time, you are gonna get bored of them. So the most important thing is to play around with your food, suss out things and see what works best for you, what vegetables you like the best, what oil you like the best, what pasta you like the best, that kind of thing. But play around with it and then eventually when you get used to it, then you know that you can just Keep what you like in your fridge and it'll reduce the expenses and you'll eat what you enjoy. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, it's another part of the Healthy Living series. If you did enjoy it, if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos where I'm just offering advice on how to start, how to eat healthy, then definitely let me know. Until then, I am going to go now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!